Okay, what I'm actually doing here is, since this buck is coming around to this licking branch, I've got a little wafer right here, and I'm preparing, um, this is called uh, the rut stuff, and it's actually a sexual attractant, so I'm trying to attract the, uh, the deer, the, the buck to come back here, to, uh, make him think that a female has been by. Right now, early November, the females aren't in heat yet. Um, so uh, you'll see a lot of times when you're in the woods, you'll hear crashing through the woods and it's the big bucks chasing the females around. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on it. This will definitely bring him back later on tonight. Just spray it, put a little bit. This doesn't smell too good, I'll tell you. It's not the best smell I've... Uh, let me see if I just dip a little bit on there. Not too much, it doesn't take a lot. There it is. Now if you notice, using plastic, I don't wanna get my scent at all on the wafer or this licking branch or anything um, because the uh, sense of smell by the buck is tremendous. Uh, he'll smell, uh, he'd be able to detect my, uh, my odor uh, very easily. So I uh, just want to try to avoid that by using you know, plastic as much as possible. So we got that wafer done there. This little smell right here, he'll come by tonight and we'll see if we can get a picture of him. We'll hook up the camera in a minute. I just want to do another wafer right over here, this one. Again, another, another big scrape and a, and a licking branch. All right, good. All right, I chose this tree right here next to all four scrapes. I'm hoping this will be a good spot for it. You never know. Never know until you get the pitches. Okay, come on, one more upturn. Okay. This looks like a good spot right here. I think I'll get everything. All right, good to go. I'll come back in a couple days and see who this brute is causing all this destruction. Standing here at the, uh, the offices of the Trustees of Reservations at Moose Hill Farm. And we're here to meet with Steve Pascal. And Steve's going to show us around a little bit out in the fields and through the woods. So let's take a walk up there and uh, meet up with Steve and uh, he'll show us around. So Steve, what do you do here at the Trustees of Reservations? Uh, I'm, the I'm the property manager here at Moose Hill Farm. Okay. Uh, we manage the fields and... Um, the core property down there. Uh, I do all the landscaping. We also take care of um, about the two mile trail loop that we have here, any of the buildings, any of that stuff that we do. So, uh, you know, you have enough around here to keep you busy then? Uh, I'm a little busy, yeah. Uh, how much help do you have? Um, I have a couple of volunteers every now and then, but um, for the most part, I'm here on the property alone. Okay. So, this is a beautiful piece of property you have. How big is it? Uh, we have 347 acres here of both woodlands and um, pasture field um, along with the core property. Okay, now 350, now I was up here the other day filming some turkey. That was a great morning. 357 acres, that's 347 acres, that's quite a bit, but I thought it was a little bit bigger than that. It seemed a little bigger than that to me. Well, this block of property here um, just south of Boston, we have 2,300 acres um, in this area. Uh, our friends at Mass Audubon right down the road, uh, they have about 2,000, well, about 1,950 acres uh, of property adjacent to us. Okay, so you have uh, the Audubon Sanctuary down the road. So that's Moose Hill, Moose Hill Wildlife Sanctuary. You're at Moose Hill Farm. What's the difference between the two? Well, um, the, you'd have to talk to them about what their particular differences are between us, but um, generally speaking, Mass Audubon uh, really is trying to protect open spaces and land for uh, ecology and for the wildlife. Okay. Uh, us at the trustees, uh, we are trying, we're not only doing that, but we're also uh, protecting areas for their, both their historical, cultural, 
ecological impact. Um, we like we have about a hundred special places around the state um, that really are more about the cultural impact on the communities that they're in. Excellent. Look forward to learning more about that. Um, and it's also good, I think, for all the residents of Sharon and Canton and Walpole and Stoughton, the surrounding towns, to have a place like this to come to with so much property to, to walk through. It's, a, it's truly amazing. And the, uh, the historic part of it is really interesting to me. I love history. And um, I know this place is, is uh, loaded with history. Let's take a walk around and maybe we can talk about that a little bit more. Sure. I love big fields like this, Steve. They're great for, uh, for the deer herds and uh, the, the turkey and everything. What are some of the uses um, that the Moose Hill Farm has used this field for over the years? Um, well, in the past, this was dairy operation here um, back in the, uh, well, in the 40s through the 60s. Um, we had, uh, the property had about 60 Guernsey cattle on it, and all this was open pasture. Um, huh. Of late, we've had some smaller uh, herds of beef cattle, and this was mostly used for just hay production. Okay. Now the trail is out, out this way, right? Does this lead us to one of the trails? Yeah, we're picking up the trail someplace along the midpoint here, but we can go for a walk out and I'll show you some of the different um, types of environments that we have here on the property. Sounds great. So we're on a edge habitat right here. We come from the field into this beautiful uh, oak uh, woodland piece of property. Notice this is, uh, looks like it's been trimmed out here. Um, yeah, I've been on the property for about 15 years um, and we've done a lot of wood cutting out here in this particular lot. Uh, mostly deadwood, uh, a little bit of greenwood here and there, but um, it's really created this nice uh, oak canopy um, above this lot. Uh, this, you see a nice little level understory of blueberry and this whole area fills in with ferns. It's a beautiful little area to walk through. Beautiful. I love it. So this is all that nice, nice fern area here. I mean, these oaks are, look, look great. They're in good shape, nice and tall. Beautiful. Now, these white oaks? Um, it's a, a mix combination of, of white It's and red? a mix of all the different uh, mm -hmm. types of oak. Um, while I'm not a professional tree identifier, yeah. uh, I, I know that there's white, black, and red in here, uh, and there may be a couple other varieties. Excellent. It's a beautiful spot. Let's walk down the trail. Now, ever since I was a, a youngster growing up in New Hampshire, I love coming out to these power lines. Uh, these, are great, these are great habitat breaks. I mean, you're coming from an area where you had a, a habitat where the birds that love the canopy like to stay in, uh -huh. um, and it breaks right out into an edge habitat where the, the, bird, the bird variety just totally explodes. It's, it's, um, it's an entirely different look out here um, within 10 feet. Um, turkey, uh, the deer love this area for all the cover. Uh -huh. um, even, even fox, mink, uh, fish will love all these areas, especially the edge habitats. It's great. It's like, so it creates basically an animal corridor and for people, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a good idea just to, you could walk for a, forever. You, you could get on one of these transmission structures and, you know, on these lines and just... You could, generally speaking, these areas, these areas tend to connect uh, one large open space to another. I mean, you can look down both ends here and see nothing but trees in the, in the horizon. Uh -huh. and, it's, um, and it's one open space to another. So, Steve, what is uh, this, this fern here? Oh, this whole area is full of uh, the stuff that we call sweet fern. Uh -huh. um, when it, oh, starts, it smells good. When it starts drying out, it just smells great all in through this whole area. Wow. Um, when you, especially if you haven't been here, you, you pick up the smell right, right away. Right. I, I almost don't notice it anymore unless right. I crumple it up and stuff it under my nose. Oh, that is, that, that's a good smell. It's beautiful here. Beautiful fern. Steve, this uh, road looks a little bit different than the other trails we were on. Yeah, this is actually, um, it's a paper road here in town. It's uh, called Old Summit Street. Um, uh -huh. It's one of the ancient ways in town. Um, we actually have a trail easement to come through here because this property doesn't actually belong to us. Oh, really? Our neighbors were nice enough to um, allow us to use this for access. Ah, there you go. So anybody that might come out here and take a hike, it'd be nice to respect this property. It's nice for the people to uh, allow the easement. Yep, should respect all our neighbors on the properties. Excellent.